Welcome to today's presentation. Today we'll talk about successive transformations. The question reads, the point A5,2 undergoes the transformation represented by the matrix 3, 2, negative 1, 0, followed by a translation negative 6, 11. Determine the coordinates of the image. The first thing we need to take note of here is that the question is about successive transformations because we have the first transformation which is represented by this matrix and then it's followed by another transformation which we are told is a translation and it is represented by the translation vector negative 6, 11. So for the first transformation, if you are given the transformation matrix and the object point, then if you pre-multiply the position vector of the object point by the transformation matrix, that should give us the position vector of the image point. And therefore, taking the transformation matrix 3, 2, negative 1, 0, multiplying it by the position vector of the object point 5, 2, This should give us, so 3 by 5, that is 15. 2 by 2 is 4. When you add, we get 19. Remember, we are multiplying row by column. Now, for the second row, we have negative 1 by 5, that is negative 5. 0 by 2, that is 0. And therefore, negative 5 plus 0, that gives us negative 5. So this represents the position vector of the first image. That is OA prime given us 19, negative 5. Now with the position vector of the first image representing the first image, now the second image is obtained by the second transformation. And the second transformation we are told is a translation represented by the translation vector negative 6, 11. So that we obtain it as the object, which is the first image, plus the translation vector. And the object is given as 19, negative 5. And the translation vector we have as negative 6, 11. When we add this, the position vector of the second image will be obtained as 19 plus negative 6, that is 13, and then negative 5 plus 11, that is 6. So finally, the coordinates of the final image, which is required in the equation, is written as 13, 6. And with this, we mark the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.